welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genesis and I like to post a lot of hair videos. Um, so if you're interested, please make sure that you check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more coming up as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I dye my hair. It's hot outside, summertime, um, you want to lighten your hair and you don't want to go to the salon, it's a little too risky and it's expensive. Let's face it, it's expensive. So I did my research, I'm not a licensed hairstylist, but I did my research and I came up with a method where I lightened my hair in a way that I like it, it's subtle, and I did it at home which was very cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna be listing all of the products that I used to achieve this look and showing you a step-by-step -step on how I did it. First, a little disclosure is that this was very difficult to film because the foils, you know, I had to look in the mirror, look at the camera, and you know, it's difficult to do on yourself, period, but to film, it's even more difficult but I try to give you guys a few pointers. If you have any questions about the video, please just let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly assist you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Squartz Prof. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but Squartz Prof um, Professional uh, Premium Developer. And this is in the volume 20 and I'm using that with the bond enforcing lightning powder so this is like their bleach and this is volume 20 um, the, the developer that's gonna activate it before I get started I want to show you exactly what I'm using on my hair today so I am using first of all look at this cute little um, apron it says love is in the hair it's so cute I got it from Amazon also got from Amazon this little kind of cubby to put in the product and prepare it and this nice brush is from color track um, and it has like the metal tails which is very good when you're like dividing and putting it into the foil I'm also using um, regular rat tail comb and I prepared foils these foils are foils from Costco actually. <laughs> it's just a regular um, aluminum foil that I just cut up. And this is very important. If you're gonna be bleaching your hair, um, whether it be highlights or balayage, you wanna make sure that you have foils and enough of them because you don't wanna start something and then midway through find out you don't have enough foils and you have to cut more because then the product is gonna start like working on one side and then it's gonna like, work more on one side and then the other side is not gonna be there so you're gonna have uneven hair and you don't want that so so let's get started something that's gonna be tricky here is gonna be visibility if you're dyeing your own hair then you're not gonna be really able to see the back of your head unless you have like a bunch of mirrors so I actually have a mirror right to this side of myself one in back of the camera um, so uh, hopefully that you know that really helps me but make sure you're by a mirror and make sure that you pick up the front hair um, as well as the hair that you don't need so that you can really see what you're working on if you just set it to the side you're not gonna be able to see okay so here I am dividing my hair into four parts and in the two back parts, I'm actually leaving out a small section, the width of a finger. And this is where I am going to do my weaving. Um, this is just gonna be a zigzag motion and it's gonna make it look like a highlight. So I leave that in both sides of the back. So um, the formula for this bleach specifically is a 1 to like 1.25 or 1.50 so you can kind of like uh, prepare it to how you feel more comfortable some bleaches I know are like a 1 to 1 ratio ratios are very important because if you don't use the right ratio then it's not gonna lift your hair how you want it to so if you're using too little of the bleach powder then it's not gonna work 
to lighten your hair to the point that you want it to and then if you use too much of the powder and too little of the developer then you're gonna have that like kind of grainy you know substance and it's also going to be very spotty so you want to make sure that you're following the directions of the bleach that you're using this is the consistency that i've got it's like you see it's not watery and it's not grainy so with the comb i wrap up the foil around it and i get close to the scalp as close as i can and um, I place tension on the hair. This is so that the foil won't slip. And I start putting the bleach midpoint on the foil. Um, I saturate the ends a lot. I make sure that the ends are fully coated with bleach so that there's no streaking, there's no spotting on there. And then on the top portion of that foil, I just brush lightly up. Um, this is just to make sure that it's a little more blended um, and it it blends in with my dark hair. I wrap up the foil and I make sure that it's nice and sturdy and it's not gonna be sliding off. So now I'm doing the same application to the opposite side. The weaving motion, so it's basically like a zigzag motion. That's how you would take out the hair and whatever you don't need, you put back into the hair that's not getting bleached. You wrap up the comb again on the foil and with tension, you're applying the bleach on the hair. So as you can see here, I'm saturating the hair very fully on the ends and midpoint. And then on the top, um, I'm, I can just like brush up lightly um, just to give that a more blended look. And I wrap up the foil and I make sure that it's very sturdy. I'm like something around you so that you know if, if the bleach gets on your gloves you can like clean it off because if you have it on your hands and you kind of put it somewhere else then you know you're gonna make a mess so I'm gonna do just one more just to kind of give the illusion that I have highlights on the bottom when I pick my hair up I'm gonna do just another line there will be no telling of how good this is gonna look until the end result because let me tell you it's tough to see the back of your hair <laughs> your own hair so the same thing we're gonna do the weaving that's how we're gonna start it off this is my weaving for here I am gonna tease a little bit because I feel like this is a lot of hair And my teasing starts from the middle and it goes up kind of like this. It goes around the comb like this. And we're gonna place it with tension. With tension. And then this with tension, we remove it. And let's go. Let's see. Um, and then again from midpoint. This is our saturation line. Everything that is above here, we're just lightly brushing up. So here I'm making sure that the hair is being fully saturated from the midpoint of where I placed the foil all the way down to the tips uh, ends of the hair. So uh, just making sure I put enough product on there. On this opposite side, you get a better view of my technique. So I do another line uh, right after the first one and I weave it. I do the zigzag motion so I can take out the hair. I do leave some hair in between the first foil and the second one um, just so that it can seem more natural and blended. And then I also tease it. So I tease this second one because it's a lot more hair than on the first one. And the same theory applies. I apply the bleach from midpoint on, I saturate it fully on the ends, and then on the top portion, I just kind of brush it up a little bit so it can blend better. Now we're moving on to the front. Um, I'm not gonna mess with so the top part here, I am kind of like dividing it. This is gonna be the most intense part that I'm gonna be 
really balayage -y, if that's a word. So I'm gonna save it. And then this part, I am going to do some baby lights in the front because I wanna brighten up that front. So this is what it looks like. So this little piece of hair, you might think it's very small. This is what's gonna make it nice and natural looking. Um, so I'm still gonna weave it. So in this front part, as you, you can see, visibility gets a little tricky. I place the foil close to my face and I put bleach on the hairs that I have separated. I try to coat them fully and I try to go as close to the scalp as possible. Then when I'm closing up the foil, I make sure that it's tightly folded so that it doesn't you know, get loose or get in the way of me parting my other hair that needs bleaching. Now I'm parting a second line following that first one and I'm doing a second set of baby lights. So I'm doing back to back baby lights in order to make the front of uh, my hair just very bright and just very natural looking type of blonde. So the baby lights, please remember to, to part very, very fine parts in your hair and get very close to the scalp when you're applying the product. Um, so just avoid thick lines, avoid a lot of hair for this part. So now I'm going to place the two lines of foils um, of baby lights that I did on the opposite side to this side and you can actually see here much better um, the amount of hair that I'm taking. I'm weaving it out and it looks just very, very fine amount of hair, very thin. And I put the foil around my hair, close to my face. Please be careful when you're doing this because you know you can easily get bleach around your eyes and that's a very dangerous. So just please be careful. Make sure that you have mirrors around you and hold the foil away from your eyes. Um, so this, I do the same thing for this side. I do two foils and then I move on to the next part. Okay, so now for this part, the remainder of the hair that's left in that portion, I am dividing it horizontally and I am going to place my foil, foils this way. So I weave it and since it's a lot more hair, I make sure that I tease so that it can be more blended because if you have a lot of hair and you're applying bleach on it, it's going to have a very blunt look. You're going to have, you know, just very dark and light together and it's not going to look blended. So you want to make sure that you tease before you do this if you have a lot of hair. Um, so I'm applying the bleach just as I normally would on the other pieces and just placing my foil. I do this for about two more uh, lines. So I weave those big sections and tease and move upward so that that whole side is bleached and uh, teased.
Okay, so I actually had to go and wash off the bottom because it was like getting too blonde. But I'm seeing it from here. These are already taking their color. So I My camera actually stopped recording right before this part, but this is very important. In this part, I'm doing baby slices, and a slice means that there's no type of weaving, it's just a very thin line of hair that you're fully coating with bleach all the way up to the scalp area. Um, so I just apply bleach to this part, and I'm actually parting it in a V shape. So you, you can see once I turn around that my hair looks like it's in a V. Um, it's not just a square uh, going up, if that makes sense. But I do that to both sides um, and I'm working my way up into like a V. In this row, I'm doing a second row of baby slices and I am parting my hair into the V shape that I mentioned earlier. So it looks like a V and it's the full slice of hair um, that I'm coating with bleach. I'm not weaving and I'm not leaving any hair in between either. And I do this because I want the front pieces of my hair to be very bright and for that piece around my face to be very bright also. So now after the two rows of baby lights, I have this little tiny section that's going to close off the V and I make sure that I tease it so that, you know, it's not just a big chunk um, and I'm also going to apply bleach to this without weaving. So just teasing in this front area and make sure that you coat the ends with a lot of bleach. As you can see here, I'm keeping my eye on the pieces that I've already done. I want to make sure that the bleach is not overly processing my hair so that it stays good. Since I know that visibility is a bit tricky for me at this point, I take a slice of that hair that I had originally left out and I tease it as much as I can. As you can see here, um, I also weave some of it so that it's not just a big chunk of hair. And weaving the hair will also help the bleached parts blend in better with my really dark hair uh, once everything is done. So, so far I have taken off all of these front strips. My hair looks crazy, but bear with me. I've taken off these front strips. I'm missing these two and these two. And this is the part of my hair, which is like the top part of my head. I haven't done it yet. I've only done one slice back here. 
um, and the reason for that is because I wanted to make sure that I washed everything off and I wasn't going like back and forth to the bathroom I wanted to take my time to do this so this whole part right here hasn't been done yet take your time when you're doing this because you don't want to rush it you don't want to kind of feel like you're running out of time and then do a sloppy job because then it's gonna be worse like your hair is gonna look a hot mess so what's the point of rushing um, and also think about it like this like when you go to the salon I know myself when I go to get this done at the salon I spend hours there so how can you expect to do it you know so quickly at home when the professionals take hours to do it so take your time I decided to take all of these out just because like um, it had lightened enough and I don't want to damage my hair I look at the foil if it looks like it's like kind of clear then I take it off okay so for the top we are going to continue in just the straight lines Now directly following that front foil, I part my hair in the middle because that's where I normally part my hair when I style it. And I grab a small section of hair and I weave it first and then I tease it. I, so I tease it so that it can have a more natural look and I apply the bleach uh, with the saturation line being closer to the top than, than it's been in the other pieces. And this is because I want the top of the hair to be very bright. For this section of hair, I'm taking a larger chunk and I'm weaving it and I'm also going to tease it. Now you want to make sure that you tease these big chunks of hair because that's going to make for smoother transition uh, and blend once you're all done. Now I'm going to repeat the same foils that I, I already did. So the first thin one and the two thick ones um, to the opposite side. And this is going to give me a more even look when I style my hair.
Now I'm just gonna wait for these parts to process. I'm going to shampoo my hair and then I'll be right back to put some toner on. We're not done yet. Okay, so I washed off the bleach. I'm gonna apply the toner and this is the Blonde Me Toning uh, Cream and it's in the tea ice color. So the toner is going to help my hair blend better. It's gonna make those uh, really bright areas uh, brighter and it's gonna kind of tone down a little bit the yellow uh, or brassy um, color. So I apply this all over the highlighted areas and you know, it's, it can be messy, but the toner is it's very easy to apply. It's just like applying conditioner on your hair. So I do this, I apply it all over, I massage it to my hair, and I leave it for uh, about 20 minutes, I wanna say. But I just, when you're applying toner, just make sure that you're still keeping an eye on the hair, checking it every few minutes, just to make sure that it, it's taking the right color. Okay, so this is the finished look. I blow dried it and I didn't curl it because I wanted you guys to see exactly what it looks like. So I do have the really bright front, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be bright. So I really like that it's blended in with my naturally really dark hair and my hair feels so healthy. It feels just very full. No hair came out during this process, so I didn't have any fallouts, I didn't have any breakage, um, which was my goal. So I used the 20 uh, volume for that, and I didn't leave the bleach on as, as much as I've seen people leave on, because I didn't want my hair to get damaged. So bleach is gonna damage your hair regardless, because it's gonna have to open up your, your hair strands, so the hair gets very weak and you know it can break. So I just was really concerned about my texture changing so I didn't want my hair texture to change I didn't want it to be like dry brittle with this look I can actually go lighter next time if I wanted to in order to do that I would have to bleach my hair again um, which is you know just a second process of it and it'll probably be a lot quicker because I already have um, light strands already but you know, this is a gradual lightening um, that I'm doing on my hair. I don't want to damage it. I don't want to cause any breakage. And you know, I like feeling my hair very healthy. Um, this way as well, so as you can see, I have um, still dark in my hair. So actually, if we part it like this, like my hair is completely dark in here. And the reason for that is because I, I want to keep my hair healthy as much as possible. And when I curl it, I don't want to just have it look kind of like an ombre. So when this starts growing out, like I had my hair lightened before with someone in the salon and he did a very good job, but I found that my hair looked like it was an ombre. Like my ends were so, so light that my hair, my really dark hair was growing out and I just didn't really like that look, especially when I curled my hair, it just looked really ridiculous. So I feel like with this, I can curl my hair and it'll look nicely blended. So that's another reason why I chose to do the method that I did. I'm really happy with the way that this came out. I'm gonna curl it for you guys so you guys can see it as well. This is the finished look guys. I curled it a little bit. I like to have like loose waves on my hair. So I curled it a little um, and you can see here, it kind of looks, kind of looks a lot better <laughs> when it's curled. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you decide to color your hair, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know how your experience is. I'm excited to see you guys try it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and please subscribe to my channel um, so you can watch more videos like this one coming up soon.